Don't forget to check out Supra Footwear Junkies. It's a new Facebook page that I started to let all of us Supra Footwear fans from around the world get to know each other, post videos, post photos, and all that fun stuff. So go check it out. Facebook.com slash Supra Footwear Junkies. What's up, everybody? It's your homie, Caster Troy. The day has finally arrived when I'm making the Supra Collection video. You guys on YouTube have been hounding me long enough. Caster, make the shoe collection video. Caster, make the video. When are you going to make it? It's happening right now. This is it. So, um, yeah, you guys have been wanting this collection video for, I think, I've been getting messages for close to a year now asking for me to show you guys my collection. So, I've wanted to do it for a long time. I just haven't had the time. just been directing a lot of music videos and has been super busy so I actually have a little free time now so I'm going to try and give you a decent collection video. Um, so anyways this is my Supra collection. I've got 22 pairs of Supras and this is them and that's the video. Catch you later. Oh you actually want to see the shoes? My bad. All right all right all right. So um, yeah I love the Supras. A little a little history about it. Um, if you've watched like my early early freshman videos, you'll notice that most of my shoe videos were about Nikes and like Nike LeBrons. And I was like really hooked on the Nike LeBrons. I still like them a lot. Um, he's one of my favorite basketball players and I really like the shoe. So anyways, um, I was getting all these shoes and Nikes are so hard. Like most of the shoes that Nike puts out, like the, like the LeBrons and the Kevin Durants and the Kobe's and stuff, they're usually like nine out of 10 pairs or limited edition. So it's really hard to get these shoes. I mean, it's a pain. You really, if you really like the shoes, you have to go down, you have to find a house of hoops, which is inside Foot Locker. You gotta go down to the store, fill out a raffle ticket, usually a week before the shoes come out. You fill the raffle ticket out. If you're lucky enough, they'll give you a call back in a few days and be like, hey, you've got a spot in line, so come down at six in the morning, get in line, and we'll get you a pair of shoes. So you do that, if that doesn't work, Basically, when the shoe comes out, you have to get up in the morning, five in the morning, get online on Nike.com or wherever, and try and buy shoes because they sell out literally in like 10 seconds. It's ridiculous. And it's such a pain in the butt. It's a big hassle. I mean, I just want to wear the shoes. I like the shoes. I just want to go buy a pair of shoes. I don't care if they're limited or not. If I like them, that's great. I just want to wear them. So it just got to be such a hassle for these Nikes. I really got to the point where I was just fed up with it. So upon me being in that fed up anger mode, I stumbled upon the Skytop 2s. And uh, I went down to Journeys and I tried on my first pair, which was the gray ones with the red stripe around them, which I'll sh obviously show you. And I tried them on and I immediately fell in love with them. I was like, damn, these are dope kicks. I mean, they were so unique. It's like, I never seen anybody wearing them, like or especially like where I lived or whatever. And um, I just really liked them. They were comfy and just really cool and different. And the best part was, I think they were only like 80 or 90 bucks and I didn't have to wait in line to buy them. I could actually go to a store or go online, find the pair of Supras that I liked and just buy them. It wasn't a big deal. And if they put out a limited edition, it wasn't that hard to get. I could just get on the computer pretty much anytime I wanted to that day and score a pair. And um, the really good part is like the Supras, they're a decent price. Like LeBron's, the LeBron's were just like eating away at my wallet. The prices for LeBron's were around 150 bucks to 250 bucks for a brand new pair. That's not resale or anything. That's just a normal pair of shoes. So it's just, it was ridiculous. So yeah, the Supras, I mean, you could get them on sale sometimes for like 60, 75 bucks. So I was just sold. And uh, I really haven't messed with Nikes too much ever since then. I mean, there's a few pairs that'll come out of the bronze that I'll just like, oh, I like those a lot, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them. But really, I mean, I'm just, it's just made life a lot easier scoring cool shoes that I like. So anyways, uh, let's check these shoes out. I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my way to the top. And we got the holy grails up on top, so we're gonna save those for last. So on the bottom here, let's see what we got here. These are the Society's Black Leather Corals. And these are really, really nice. These are the guys right here. Got the black with, the, it's like a salmon color right here. And a, kind of a funny story, I actually scored these a lot. Of, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you where I got each pair, just so you guys know. I get a lot of questions asking where I get my shoes at. So I'll tell you exactly where I got every pair of them as I go through them. 
Um, I actually, which I get a lot of my shoes off eBay. You just gotta be careful, but if you're a smart buyer, you'll know if they're real or fake. So anyways, I got these on eBay. I think I only paid, I paid $69.99 for these, free shipping, no tax. And I really like them, they're really cool. Really cool shoes, I'm sure you guys have seen them before, but yeah, these are nice. And uh, it's kind of a funny story, um, I scored about, what I get? I think I got about five pairs of shoes from this lady who was selling these. She, uh, she, owned a, she owned a shoe store in Illinois, I think, and they bought a bunch of Supras and they just couldn't get rid of them. I mean, imagine that Supras, some little town in Illinois. Yeah, it wasn't going to work out. So she had a ton of shoes in my size up on eBay and she was just unloading them for like 50, 60, 70 bucks. I was like, wow. All right, what do we got here? We've got the Society Black and Blues. And these are awesome. They're one of my favorites. These are pretty much the Yeezys of Super Societies. I like these. And I actually bought these. Where did I get these from? Where did I get these? I can't remember. I might, I might have got these. No, you know, I got these off eBay, actually. I bought these. Uh, these were actually one of the first pairs of shoes that I bought. And I bought them in a smaller size thinking they'd fit, but they didn't. So I had to return them and ended up getting these on eBay. Yeah. So when I always, uh, just a quick note, like when I wear my shoes, I like to wear them uh, with the straps taken out, like, and then folded again. And uh, what I found is if you're not going to wear them for a couple days, put them through the, put them through the loops again and strap them just so they don't become extra loose or anything. So pretty much just put them back to the factory, factory settings. All right, let's see. So that's pair number two. Society, the purple royal white. Man, it's been a minute since I've seen these. Woo! These are beautiful. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Love them. Love them. The freaking purple nylon. Awesome. Did a video on these, of course. Um, I got these at Journeys. This is actually a, <laughs> this is a pretty funny story. I got these at Journeys, and when when I did the video, if you, if you saw the, if you've seen the video review that I did of these, at the end I was talking about how the right foot felt like a half size small, and then the left foot felt perfect. Well, this is kind of crazy. I actually took them back to Journeys to uh, to return them, and the guy's looking at the shoes. He's like. Dude, you got 113 and one's a 12 and a half. I was like, what? So that's crazy. The factory, they actually sent me this a pair of shoes that had a 13 and a 12 and a half in it. So that was really weird. But uh, anyways, just uh, they took them back and I got another pair. So that worked out. It worked out good. Yeah, and actually I think I paid, I don't know, these came out. I think they're like 125 or something. Something like that. Let's see. Another society. Ooh, these are the society twos. These things are. This is probably. This is probably the baddest pair of shoe that's ever graced the earth. There ain't nothing crazier than this. Nothing. Nothing. Kanye can put anything out he wants. He can put a Yeezy, a Squeezy, a freaking any Yeezy thing. It doesn't even matter. There's no shoe on the planet that can touch the craziness of this. I've never seen anything like it. And everybody that I show this shoe to, they they don't even know what to say. They're like. Their mouths drop. This thing is nasty. If you haven't picked up a pair of these, I think you should, because even if you're not into snakeskin and the crazy golden stuff, it's a dope shoe. I mean, you could put this on your mantle or something above your fireplace. I'm telling you, love this shoe, love it. And I got these right when they came out uh, off Super's website for I think it was a buck forty. So yeah, I definitely wasn't waiting for those to go on sale because I don't think they're gonna last. So we're four pair deep, 18 left to go. Let's see what we got here. Midnight Wrinkle. Oh, this is a good story. This is a good story. These, I love these shoes, love them. Love these ones. Got these off eBay. 
And the funny story behind these is some, uh, some shoe company was, was selling them and they didn't have a reserve on them. They were just doing, they were just doing a typical eBay auction. There was no buy now button or anything. And, um, so I really didn't, you know, the thing with Supras are they look good in pictures, but then when you actually get the shoe, they look like 10 times better in person. It's crazy. So when I saw these online, I was like, eh, they're okay. Yeah, not bad. So the, the, the bidding was going on and there was only like two minutes left. So I just it got to like a minute and I was just like, oh, I'll just put a little bid in. I put a bid down for like, I think it was 3750 and I actually won the bid. Totally legit shoes from a shoe company. Got these brand new for 37 bucks. And when they arrived, I was like, wow, these look so good in person. Love it. Love the red and the, the navy blue. Awesome. So this is the best deal I've ever got on a pair of Supras for 37 bucks. I, yeah, awesome. Definitely awesome. Let's see what we got here. Actually, I had to construct this rack myself. Bought a little cheap rack and did a bunch of drilling and put some rods in there because this wasn't made. This was actually made for like ladies' high heels, but now it's a super rack. Um, another pair of societies, white, black, and white. Oof, man. I haven't looked at a lot of these for a while. I mean, I get stuck on a couple pair that I wear for a few months, but man, I like these. These are the polka dots. Pain and suede polka dots. These are bad. This is a bad shoe. I don't care what anybody says. This might, this is probably in my top five pairs of Supras. They look good. They even look good with shorts. I love these shoes. Yeah, these are awesome. Love these ones. Very cool. I got these off of Karma Loop. Used the uh, used a code on there. I think I got these brand new for like ninety bucks. I think it was that. I don't know what happened to Karma Loop. Karma Loop was like a huge Supra reseller, and uh, for some reason they don't really deal with Supras anymore. It's a huge bummer. All right, what do we got here? Society white. Speckle, tough, black, and blue. All right. Man, these are another one that are in my top five all time favorites. These are, a, this, this is a bad shoe right here. It's the crackled, uh, mm, sorry. It's the, damn, hiccups or something. Uh, the white leather with the crackle, the blue crackles. These are bad. Actually, this is another pair that I scored off of eBay with that lady that was selling uh, her shoes down in Illinois. I got these for 70, I think 70 bucks. I got these for 70 bucks. Yeah, they popped on eBay. I was like, whoa, I snagged them up quick, super quick. Yeah, I love these. These are awesome, little baby blue all over. Yeah, these are awesome. Awesome shoe, awesome. And if you're wondering why my shoes are like so clean, maybe you are, maybe you're not. Um, I do wear them, I wear them all, and uh, I have, I use the Kiwi brand sports cleaner, and I clean my shoes every couple days. If I wear them, you know, if I wear them for two or three days, I'll just go outside and clean them real quick, scrub them and everything, and that's really the key to, to um, giving your shoes the long, a long lifespan, is just keep cleaning them. Clean them, even if you clean them once a week, you know, that's good. Just, uh, they'll look good for a lot longer. So let's see what we got here. We got the Society White, Red, and Navy. White, Red, and Navy? Oh yeah. I was just wearing these the other day. Love them, love them. This could be my top five too. <whistles> love them. On paper, not the coolest looking shoe. I mean, the American flag colors, how many clothes can you wear with that? Surprisingly, they look good with a lot of clothing, a lot. These look good with a nice pair of black jeans or some lighter blue jeans, to darker blue jeans, yeah. These look good. I love these shoes, really like these. I got these, uh, where did I get these? Yeah, I can't remember. I have a really good memory too sometimes, but there's a lot of shoes here. Where did I get these? I think I got them off, I might've got them off Karma Loop also. 
I'm not mistaken, I think I did. Let's see what we got here. We got Society Gray, ooh, the Neon Max Pack. Yeah, these are dope too. It's another pair of shoes that I got off that woman in Illinois. I got paid 60 bucks for these. Love, these are nice too. I like these. I like them. I hope they keep the societies coming, man. They're, they're a dope shoe. So cool. Yeah, I really like these. Cool, cool, cool shoes. Yeah, very awesome. Neon Max Pack right here, 60 bucks. Can't beat it, can't beat it. So I'm gonna give you guys a tiny little lesson because I get a lot, of, uh, a lot of messages, people asking me to check out certain sites if, to see if uh, the Supras are real or not. And the biggest rule of thumb that you guys can do yourselves is when you find a website that's selling Supras and, uh, and you like them, the biggest rule of thumb is uh, when you're on the website, go to the contact section, press on contact, and if there's no phone number to call the company, then it's 100% a fake site. They're definitely fake shoes. If there's no phone number to call the company, then it's a scam. So that is, that's the true way to tell if, uh, if the Supras are real. And if there's no phone number, it's a guarantee that the Supras are knockoffs. Unfortunately, knock on wood, I hope it's real wood, I haven't got any fakes yet. Or I have not got any fakes, minus the yet. It won't be it yet. Uh, so what we got here? Society Black, Gray, and Blue. Yeah. These are the Back to the Future shoes right here. Took these to Thailand with me. They made it back in one piece too. Can't say, can't say the same for myself. Yeah, I like these. These are good. What, what are these called? What's the, uh, I know I did a video on them. What's the nickname for these? You have to help me out. Having a memory lapse. Doesn't say on here, does it? I don't know, what's the, I'm gonna say it's like, ah, it's driving me crazy. It's like the asteroid or the starburst or something crazy. Yeah, anyways, I can't think of it, but. Yeah, these are good. These were a good score. I got these off of Zappos. Zappos. I think I paid uh, 130 for these. Let's see about this. Oh yeah, there's a funny story about these ones. These are great shoe. Burgundy and white societies. These are definitely in my top five. I love them. These need clean. I love these shoes. Love them. Love them. Um, yeah, so these popped up on Supra's website and immediately sold out of my size. I was like, man, bum deal. So I actually found these on eBay and I bought them. I think they were 130 bucks. They, uh, <laughs> they arrive, you know, anytime you buy shoes, they're supposed to come in a box. Like the shoes are supposed to come in a box. When you ship something, it's in a box. So I get these off eBay. The seller has like a high rating. It's like some online shoe store. So they arrive and they shipped them in the super box. Labels and everything right here. They actually shipped them in the super box. Totally stupid. So I end up writing the guy. Actually, I don't write the guy. I get an email like a week later saying from eBay just saying, hey, uh, do the, uh, uh, write a review, let, you know, share, share your thoughts on your eBay experience with this seller. So I'm like, all right. So I write, this, I write my feedback. I give them my feedback. I'm saying, they're saying, yeah, great shoes and everything, but you know, you should have double boxed it because a lot of people, including, you know, whoever buys shoes like this, uh, there's a lot of collectors out there and we like our boxes to look really good. And it's a huge no-no to put labels on the boxes and, uh, ship them in the box. So the guy gets all snotty with me and he's like, oh, well, it's a big no-no to write a bad review. I'm like, well, too bad, bro. <laughs> Should know what you're doing. All right, well, these are nice. I like these ones. Finally getting into the Sky Top 2s. These are the Chad Muska Pro Model Navy Gold and Leather. Got the Factory 413 box here. 
And I actually scored these on PYS.com, which is pickyourshoes.com. And these are dope. They're dope. I hope they bring the Sky Top 2 back like one or two pairs a year just isn't gonna cut it. This is a bad shoe. I'm gonna tell you something else that's weird. I've noticed that they're not selling Sky Top 3s anymore. What's up with that? I mean, I never bought a pair, but I like them. For a low top, they're pretty cool. I know they were selling a bunch of them, so I don't know what's up with that. But yeah, these are pretty nice. The navy blue with the gold. Dig them, dig them. I think I paid. PYS is kind of expensive. They know that, I mean, a lot of shoes that they have, that they still have in stock, are a little bit rare. So I think I paid, I paid 140 for these, which I think it's, I don't know what the retail's on it anyway. Probably about 140, but yeah, these are nice. I would have thought you'd think they would have been on sale since this model is a couple years old, but yeah, great pair of Sky Top 2s. Great pair. And I like the box too, big box. Big box. Let's see. What the hell am I doing here? Alright. There. Alright, working our way up to the top here. Take it to the top. Let's see, Sky Top 2 White Action. Let's see. Right there. These are nice. These are the astronaut shoes. This is Justin Bieber to a T right here. It's the all white Sky Top 2s. You can't mess with them. All white. Love it. Love them. Love it. And this is another pair that I got off that, uh, that woman in Illinois. $49.99, brand new. 40, 50 bucks. Can't beat that. Cannot beat it. Yeah, so actually, I haven't even worn these yet. I'm waiting for like a special night where I can get into all white, go freaking, go all Backstreet Boys out. Just, I'll get all boy bandish on these, no doubt. All right. Moving on, let's see. Sky Top 2, Burgundy Spackle. Yeah. Yes, sir. Actually got these, I haven't even worn these yet. Got these from Shoebaka. Shoebaka.com, S-H-O-E-B-A-C-C-A, -C -C Shoebaka. I think I paid 50 bucks for these. Yeah, they were on clearance or something, so they get a lot of leftover stuff, but yeah, these are bad. It's the burgundy with the, that's crackled leather with the little white paint speckleage, all that kind of cool stuff, yeah. I dig these too. Of course I dig them. What am I saying? Say that about every shoe. Yeah, hot shoe. What else we got? Man, running through these pretty quick actually. Sky Top 4. You guys have seen these. Sky Top 4, right here. Sky Top 4. Give you so much in that box. Yeah, you guys have seen these. They don't have the knives on them right now. They're, they're in the kitchen. But yeah, I really like this shoe. I really do. Um, they're actually, they run about a half size big, so they're a tiny bit big on me. I mean, I wish they'd make them in a 12 and a half, but that'll never happen. But yeah, I've actually worn these a lot. I've worn them a lot. I like them. Cool shoe. Overpriced, definitely overpriced, but yeah. Get off of there. I like them a lot. Yeah, they kind of, uh, they went hard, like, the Super and the Sky Top 4, they were really pushing these when they first came out in, what was it, like, December? Late November, December, or something like that? And uh, now they, seems like they've kind of stopped on that. They put out a couple colorways, and now they haven't done anything, so I don't know what's up with that. Ah, right. Ooh, yeah, Samakazis just did a review on these. Love them. Love these shoes. Surprisingly, I really like them. I didn't expect to like them that much. Yeah, these are cool. And they actually, uh, I got an email from Super a couple weeks ago. They were selling a bunch of, uh, I guess, leftover shoes, and they had the, uh, what was the one? The, the Kamikazes. 
they had a bunch of kamikazes that they were selling for face value. I think it was 140 bucks for them. And I looked at them and I was like, yeah, I, I'm not gonna, I mean, I know they're a rare shoe, but I didn't need to buy them because they really look almost exactly like these. So yeah, these are actually really nice. Uh, you can probably still find these on Factory 413. I'm not sure, but yeah, they were uh, receipts right here, 150 bucks on Factory 413. And the Skytop 4s that I just showed you, got those obviously from Supra's website because they were, they were a limited release, so they were right on the, right on Supra's website. Alright, shoot, six pair to go. Skytop 2 black and white, huh? Oh yeah, my go-to shoe. It's probably one of my favorites. Simple, I'm usually not a fan of like ultra simple shoes, but... These are bad. These are a bad shoe. I've, I've had these for a while. And uh, the black right here, it's like a carbon fiber black right there. You can still buy these. Uh, I got them at Journeys. You can actually get them at Journeys right now for I think 69 bucks. They have them on Supra's website for like a buck 30, but don't even waste your time or money there because you can get them half price at Journeys. And these are good. I mean, they even look, I've worn these more than any shoe, more than any Supra I own. I took these to Thailand with me for a month. I dredged around Thailand in them. So, I mean, who knows, who knows what is on these shoes, but they cleaned up really good with that Kiwi sports cleaner and they look, they look almost brand new. So I've worn the sh I've worn the crap out of those shoes. Love them. Thought about getting a second pair. I like them so much. Right. We got here, oh, another pair. Oh, these societies are bad. I forgot about these. I almost forgot about you, buddy. Yeah, these right here. The, I think they're called the, the steel suede or the suede steels or something. Mmm. Dope shoe. Dope, dope, dope shoe. Got these on eBay again. Paid, uh, I think I paid $79.99 for them. Another super buy off of eBay. Yeah, these are dope. Dope. So, stop saying dope so much, Caster. Yeah, love them. Really cool shoe. Awesome, awesome. Ah, oh, man. Top two, black, red, and white. These are oh, yeah. These are those ones. This is pretty much the last. This is the last Super Sky Top Two that they put out as a normal release. This is the final one that they put out, and I think Journeys was the only one to sell it. They don't have any more on there, but this is actually the review that I did of these. I didn't give this shoe very much credit. I kind of put it down a little bit, if not a lot, and I've actually been wearing it <laughs> quite a bit lately. And it's a bad shoe. I really like it. Really, really like it. It's a, uh, you know, the quality isn't probably, I don't know, It's it feels a little cheaper than some of the other older Skytop 2s, but they look good and they actually are very comfortable. So I definitely like these. Uh, got these off Journeys when they came out. I think there was uh, like 125 bucks or something. The box is way too small that they put them in for some reason. I don't know why they made started making smaller boxes for the sky top two is pretty stupid, but whatever, right? Uh. And this is the first pair of uh, sky top twos, that first pair of supers that I bought. The go twos right there. Mm, big daddies like that. Yeah, I think uh, I got these at Journeys. I think I paid, actually, I think I paid 99 bucks for them. Maybe 120, I can't remember. But I actually got a second pair of these. They're in my closet because these are one of my favorites and I know I'm gonna wear the heck out of them and I'm gonna want another pair. So, and actually scored the other pair for 69 bucks. So, you know. But anyway, this is these guys. Love them, love these ones. Very comfortable. They're definitely one of my go-to shoes. And let's go up to the Holy Grails. This is it right here, the Holy Grails right here, these two. Some of you guys know what they are. You can probably tell what they are from here. These are the X Game Societies. And I do not know 
how I got so lucky to get these. I went on eBay one day about five months ago, at least five months ago. I hopped on eBay and these, uh, <laughs> these shoes were actually on eBay, both of them. It was, uh, it was one seller, one seller was selling these shoes. And he wasn't selling them separately, he was selling them as, as a package. He was selling them as a package for 300 bucks, which is $150 per pair. So at first I was a little skeptical because these are a rare shoe. This is probably one of the rarest, if not the rarest, society has ever made. And definitely the most sought after. And uh, so I emailed the kid and uh, just to make sure that they were legit because I was definitely skeptical. And he emailed me back, he's like, yeah, dude, I've had these for a long time, you know, I've, they've just been sitting in a box, you know, I bought them from so-and-so place, he, he had the receipt and everything. And um, I was like, cool, man, so I did not waste any time, I just went, boom, bought them, and they came, and these are legit, this is, these are legit. So yeah, these, definitely the holy grail of societies, man. You cannot mess with these. I mean, who else is putting shoes out like this? Nobody's putting shoes like this out. I love it. I love it. So cool. So cool. So yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a couple more up closes of the shoes and everything. And uh, I think that's it. I mean, that's all I got for you guys. These are. This was the Supra, the Castor Troy Supra collection video. And if you guys have any questions at all, you know, always you can hit me up, and I'll get right back to you. And uh, like I said in the beginning of the video, go check out Super Footwear Junkies on Facebook. Uh, it's a little page that I set up for super fans from around the world to post pictures and, you know, just kind of chat with each other. And there's actually been a lot of cool shoes that people have been posting pictures of. So it's been a cool little site. Um, so yeah, go check it out. And uh, until the next shoe release, I will see you cats later. Peace. You can't take control Liars want it Heroes fade away Liars want it Welcome to the game show of my life Correct your perception I know that you're able your toxic creation Abuse what you came for Your prize now it dies